how does the Air Force support innovation down to the tactical level? When you're talking innovation in the next 20 to 30 years, what are we going to put on the battlefield that makes us more lethal? The B-22s had already worked a little bit with snowmobile insertion and extraction, bringing them to where we need them and then picking them back up. And they had a makeshift system of rubber mats that they would load in the, the interior of the cabin. That was basically just to protect the floor of the cabin from the skis on the snowmobiles as well as the treads. The system consisted of just rubber horse stall mats that you loaded in the bottom of the cabin attached with carabiners. And then we had the tread of an old snowmobile cut in half and we would roll it out like a mat. The issues that we found with that was that the conditions had to be exactly right in order for the snowmobile to actually get on the ramp. We knew that the users were wanting more Arctic operations. We knew that snowmobiles were becoming a, a little bit of a high interest item. The way we had to use the existing ramp system just hindered us in too many ways. We didn't get to take the system out and do infill exfill, but what we were able to do was tow the aircraft up to a snowbank that replicated it. So we were able to put the ramp down on snow the same way it would have been if we were actually in the, the landing zone. We had no issues with it. You don't know if it's going to be rainy and slippery and muddy and, and now snowy. Trying to increase the lethality of the team by increasing the speed at which you can do things, but also making it safe.